Hi there. In this video, I just wanted to clarify what happens when you actually create a new project in Argus Pro. So I'm using Argus Pro 3 here, and I've cleared all my recent projects, so it's very sort of new. Now, you can go straight into a new project, sort of starting off with these options, or indeed starting without a template. So sort of nothing really happens there, it's all, all empty and stuff. But when, when, when you go straight to a map, because that's obviously what, that's what most people would want to do straight off, um, you are prompted for, you know, where you want to store your project information. So you see here, I've got this, this is completely empty. So this is detempt and then um, new project. So I've already got a new project folder there. So I'm going to put in new project. I could have searched for it with, with that button and I'm not going to create a new folder. Otherwise it will create a new folder within that new project directory. So basically what I'm going to show you here is what happens in this empty folder when you create a project. So I'll press OK. Let's go back to here and then you'll see all the files appear. Let me just go back to them. It, uh, there you go. So you can see it's got a default empty, um, well, empty contents there. It's just got the base map. Now, um, and, and there's nothing else in, in there. But even though there's nothing else kind of loaded or whatever, it still creates this, this folder structure. So what, what, what actually does all this sort of mean? Um, okay, so the import log at the top there, this is where you get stored some XML type, uh, well, XML information about anything that's imported. So if you import an MXD, for example, it'll it'll put some XML in here, which are kind of the results of um, whatever you imported. Um, so it'll give, give you a bit of feedback there. So it's literally what, it's, what it sounds like. It's a log of any importing you do. So what I mean by that is often when you start with Arches Pro, you might go straight to import map and then select uh, an MXD. And bring that in. Now, when you do that, you'll get um, some uh, population. You'll get some uh, data, some XML data added into that folder. Uh, the index that'll be empty at the moment. Well, apart from um, the, the, the default name for the project there, um, the index just stores, uh, just keeps track of all the items um, such as maps and layouts, and uh, creates sort of quick index and thumbnails, that sort of thing of, of all the items. It's empty, so it's empty. My project GDB, well, it was, it's called, um, I left the default name as my project. So, and it's and it creates a geodatabase. So if you look inside, you've got the usual G, GDB sort of components there that make up a, um, a geodatabase. So there's a default one. So that will be used for all, by default, as the default project geodatabase. So if you do any Im, uh, any imports, it'll default to that. If you do any process or geoprocessing, that's what the default will be. And, it, and if you go to, if I look at uh, view, uh, catalog pane, um, you'll see databases, and there it is, my project GDB, and of course it's empty. So that's your default, and they see DTEMP, new project. That's your default geodatabase. Uh, then of course you actually have the binary um, project file, my project .aprx, so that's binary. Uh, that's that's what that is. You can't. Um, that's that's where everything you you set up in your uh, map here in your Arches Pro session will be stored. The um, you know all the thematics details and whatever anything you do. So and then finally you have atbx file. So that's actually your toolbox for this project. ATBX is a new toolbox format uh, that started from ArcGIS 2.9. And um, I don't know, there was some um, speed improvements about when tools open and stuff like that. Uh, not necessarily how fast the tools run, I don't think, uh, but just how quickly you can access them. And because uh, it did take a while to find actually, uh, you know, before 2.9, it would always be quite a lengthy um, way to sort of search for tools. But um, it's definitely uh, a lot quicker to bring up tools. And this is their new format to help that, which is a, um, a binary format. So that, that's, the, that's what happens 
Um, if you say, okay, I just want to start with a map because that's the default template. You can override certain things. If we go to, um, uh, not that one, if we go to project um, and go to options and general, in here, you can override some of that by default. So you can see, say, whenever I do, um, start ArcGIS Pro, always do not start with a template or, or always um, start with my default project, which is in this folder and whatever. The, um, at the moment, I, I just show the start page. The other, the other thing to say is, well, when I do create projects, what, what, what do I do? Well, everything that's new is just in default locations or all projects go to a custom location. Maybe it's a shared drive or a particular data drive, um, NAS or something, you know, so you, so you might do that. And also you can stop it creating a folder for the project sort of by default. Uh, so you can turn that on and off. You can, all, you can also set, instead of creating um, uh, a default ge geodatabase for each project, uh, and certainly that's a bit of a sort of bugbear of mine, um, I, I do usually use the same default geodatabase for all my uh, tutorial projects anyway, and just keep them in there. So you, 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 might, you might do that if you uh, just keep a central sort of geodatabase for your, for your work, unless you really want a specific one for your project. And then, of course, you could keep the same toolbox um, for all projects, uh, which makes more sense um, rather than creating one for each project. Anyway, that's a quick look um, just to explain a few of the basics there. And I hope you find that useful. Thank you.